Oh, hello. This is Hak Chong from Walk with Hak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, there are many ways to cook teriyaki chicken. Uh, this is one of the way which I usually cook when I have guests. Uh, this version is very popular uh, for my guests because it has intense flavor. Uh, the chicken is in a heavy sauce. So okay, let's go into the kitchen and have some fun. Uh, I start with one tablespoon of canola oil uh, in my Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok. Uh, I season the wok with my spot seasoning method. Uh, for this dish, the wok needs to be well seasoned, otherwise the chicken will stick and burn. Uh, I'm going to cook an 8-ounce portion of chicken. Uh, I velveted the chicken uh, by coating it with cornstarch. Uh, I then laid out the chicken uh, with a pair of tongs. I'm going to pan fry the chicken uh, just for a few seconds uh, because the cornstarch provides the chicken a light breading. Uh, for me, other than the wok spatula, uh, the tong turned out to be probably the second most useful tool for stir fry. Uh, the tong is particularly useful uh, in the case of pan frying the chicken. Uh, as you can see, uh, I can turn the chicken individually. Uh, this way, I can uh, cause some charring on the chicken. Uh, but now it's good enough for me, so I switch to my wok spatula. Uh, without any questions, the wok spatula is far more efficient for stirring the contents. Uh, the stainless steel wok spatula is designed for this purpose. It is better than any other type of uh, stirrers. As you can see, the chicken cooked very quickly. And uh, by now, the chicken is probably about 80% cooked. By using my pan frying technique in the beginning, uh, you can see the chickens are nicely charred. It gives them almost a grill-like appearance. And next, I'm going to create the teriyaki sauce, uh, starting with uh, some oyster sauce and followed by some hoisin sauce. At this point, I do not add any fluid to the wok because this is the best way to concentrate the flavor uh, on the chicken. Uh, by taking this approach, the chicken will take on intense flavor. Uh, so to create a sauce for the chicken, uh, I'm going to add some water. Uh, it is important not to add too much water uh, because at the end, I want the sauce to be thick so that the flavor will be most intense. I try to add only a little bit of water at a time so that I will not put too much water into the dish. Uh, use your judgment when you come to this part of the cooking process on how much water you want to add. And next, I add some dark soy sauce to give coloration of the dish, and it's followed by some light soy sauce. And this will provide saltiness to the dish. At this point, I do a taste test. And the next important ingredient of uh, the teriyaki sauce uh, is sugar. Uh, this tremendous amount of variations actually uh, depends on how much sugar that you're going to add to make the sauce. And the final part to make the sauce is to add cornstarch. I sprinkle cornstarch directly uh, over the surface of the ingredients. At this point, I have shut off the heat uh, because I do not want the temperature of the sauce too high. Uh, that will cause clumping of the cornstarch. Uh, if you worry about clumping, uh, you can suspend the cornstarch in water first. Uh, I like this method uh, because it uh, saves a couple of steps. As you can see here, the sauce has thickened significantly. Uh, this is how most people like teriyaki chicken. Uh, an intense saltiness, sweetness, and savory. So when you use my fast cooking system with flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking, uh, you can cook any type of chicken anytime you want. And most importantly, with flavor chasing, you can adjust the flavor of the dish in whatever way that you prefer. And with advanced prepping, you have chicken already in the freezer that you could thaw out in about 10 minutes. And finally, I garnish the chicken dish with some scallion. Uh, I always have some scallions on hand. It's great to have them available for this purpose. Uh, this dish turned out to be excellent as a walk exercise for you to gain greater familiarity uh, of your walk. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.